Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of AVG and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 450 samples in total and we will be using these samples to test how well AVG does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection here in AVG. We'll let it sit for a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Let's confirm we are up to date and we are good to go. And at this point, everything is turned on, so we'll wait for just a few minutes. Several minutes have passed. Let's check our samples folder. We're still at 450. And so at this point, let's go ahead and run a system scan. And we're going to do a deep scan. And we will let this run until it's fully completed. And it looks like the scan has completed and found multiple results. We're going to go ahead and click on done. We have 22 remaining in our samples folder, so we'll go ahead and scan directly. And it looks like it found some more results. We'll click done. We are now at 17, so we'll go ahead and execute. Execution is completed and we've got more stuff now in our samples folder and some new stuff that's been installed. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, Malwarebytes found 14 results, so we'll go ahead and quarantine. After the last restart, we are now left with 40 items in our samples folder. A lot of this was added during execution and not part of the original sample. The specific sample that is adding all this junk is this one right here, which if I run it through virus total actually comes back with fairly low detection. And when I run some of the junk that it's adding, it's actually coming back with no detection. So some interesting results there with that specific sample of malware. But that is everything for this test of the free version of AVG. You can take those results and draw your own conclusions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, or the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you can get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.